Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Nick from Soho Motorsports and today we're gonna to be discussing this 2009 370Z and how it went from stock to 600 plus wheel. So how do we go from stock to 600 plus wheel? So this 2009 Nissan 370Z, the client brought it to us and wanted to go boost. So the only way to go boost, you gotta go with turbo. So he decided to go with our stage one single turbo kit, which has the G35 900 turbo in it. We also did a fuel return system on this setup, 1300 cc injectors and a 450 fuel pump. Now the reason why we went with the return system is because this client wanted to have the capability of being able to do flex fuel. So having the return system, the 1300 cc injectors and the actual flex fuel wired into the Ecutech allowed him to be able to run flex fuel on this setup. And so it actually came out really, really nice. I always say that but every time I see one of these, I'm always excited, happy to how it turns out. Everything is so stockish looking. It looks like Nissan should have made this from the factory. And I kind of wish they did because if it came from the factory boosted, we'd be able to make a lot more power on these motors and these motors probably make a little bit more power as we can see with the new Z. So touching base on this setup here. So it had the open differential. We also did the Z1 LSD on this setup to allow it to put the power down. As you can see, it has the R888s all the way around. So he was prepared for power. Now he just needed the power to be able to put it down in which he did. So let's talk power wise on this vehicle. So we did two settings on this vehicle. We did a pump gas map and we also did the E85 flex fuel maps. So 1300 CC injectors, 450 fuel pump, return system, enough to make all the power in the world. And so this is the power number that it put down. So on pump gas, it put 512 and 439 foot pounds of torque at nine PSI. Bumped it up a couple PSI. At 11 PSI, it put 551 and 455 foot pounds of torque. So great numbers in regards to that. Now let's jump over to when we put ethanol into it. So there was about a quarter tank of gas left in the actual tank. So we filled it up with E85 or E90 like we like to use and it bumped up to about E50, E55. So those numbers at nine PSI, it put down 551 and 463. So basically whatever it made on nine PSI, it made that, whatever it made on 11 PSI on pump gas, it made that on nine PSI on E. So now we bump it up to the 11, 12 PSI and on E50, it put down 608 and 516. So 600 wheel behind a Z, if you've ever driven a Z, is a lot of power, especially if you don't have the proper tire. He's got the proper tire, still breaks loose on you, but it shoots straight, which is a nice thing because he does have the Z1 differential in the vehicle. He's got it set up. Also with the turbo kit, he got our single to dual. Sounds great makes the power, looks good. He's got the burnt tip option in regards to that. So this car came out really, really nice. He'll enjoy this. This vehicle is from Pennsylvania. So streets of Pennsylvania, be on watch. This car will be out there. I don't know how much of the street racing he'll do, but if you do come across this car, it'll be pretty, pretty fun to, to watch it in action and see what it does. Because like I said, now he has the power, now he has the tire to make it work and you put those two together and he can move. So. The last piece of this turbo kit that we decided to put on here or that he decided to go with was our HR VHR catch can. So that completes everything. So you don't have any of the stockish components in here besides the power steering reservoir, which hint, hint, we have a component that we are making to be able to provide to the masses. Should be releasing that here in the next couple of weeks. So that way there'll be nothing plastic or nothing OEM in regards to the engine bay inside of it. So it'll make everything look good. Filtered option, didn't do the turbo guard option, so I put down this power with the filter. Alright, so it's me and Bobby, 09 370Z, Soho Single Turbo Kit Stage 1. 35 900 turbo and we did a couple of other things well not a couple a large number of things which included what fuel return system yep we did the cjm top hat the 1300 cc injectors basically everything to get him going for high ethanol content so yeah this is on flex here so we'll do a nice little rip this will be i think on map one which is like 550 so So 550, I think it was around 10 pounds is what it does it on, on E50. So 
This thing will, will scoot, man. It's got R888's custom traction control map. Did it kick on for you on that one? Yeah, it yeah, did. it did. It definitely worked. Flash the light, because you can probably hear the wastegates just fluctuating during that pull. So, mm -hmm. you'll have fun with this car, because I mean, it's a base model, as you can see. Cooler work shifter. Yeah, and he uh, changed the rear diff setup too, to a, um, the open diff for the base model to the uh, full LSD, and man, that thing just shoots straight no through more, the entire pull. Yeah, no more one wheel pill, right? It right. just shoots straight. Mm -hmm. And that's, when you're adding that much power to a car, that's, it's just a must. You gotta have that. It's just so much safer. Correct. But that's the last thing you want is to put all that power and then one wheel has the power, the other one does it, and it just, you, it's unpredictable. So yes. predictability is the big thing anytime you go boost. Yeah, so going straight from a base model car that had a little bit of an exhaust setup and some intakes to the full-blown stage one, everything that we offer, it was, this is just night and day different. Oh yeah. And, I mean, he's just gonna smile every time he drives it. I know I would. Oh, for sure, because he went from, what, 300 horsepower to 600 plus on map two. I think it's like 610 on map two. Yep. 12, 13 pounds, I mean, so. He's got the tire for it now, so the big thing now is just getting used to it, and then if he wants more, he can always crank it up, so. And then just like this, I mean, you throw it in fifth, sixth gear and cruise around town. It's yep. Just like it was before. Yep, he does have our Soho single to dual. So that is another piece that was added on there with along with the catch can. So pretty much the full catalog. So he'll definitely enjoy this uh, this setup. This will be a fun setup for him. And he's from Pennsylvania. So people in Pennsylvania, watch out. This car will be uh, something to be reckoned with. So Jason, we appreciate the opportunity. We hope you enjoyed this vehicle. And if you could hit the subscribe button on the bottom, hit the like as well too, and we'll catch you on the next one.